Yeah, so I've, um, I've been monitoring some powerful hours in this spot for BirdLife Australia. And last night they were calling and I didn't see them. And they were calling down here. So I've come down here trying to find the roost. I've been following whitewash and pellets all along the way. And I've got to this really nice, moist, shady, cool spot. And I thought, perfect, this is where it's going to be. And then I look up in the tree out there, and it's not a powerful owl, there's a sooty owl. And this is my first sooty owl, so I'm super excited. Um, I'll turn the camera around and try to zoom in a little bit. See that? Uh, it's hard to see on my phone camera, but it is a sooty owl. So I came here, followed the whitewash, and then there's more whitewash just down here. Hopefully you can see that. And I've looked up, there's a branch right there, so the power flower could have been down here and made that, but then I've just looked further across, and look at that, little sooty owl. All right, that'll do me for now. I'm gonna try to get a better look with my binoculars. I'm back at the spot where the sooty owl roost was about a week ago. It's not there anymore, but I can at least give you a better view of where it was roosting. So you can see how steep it is here. So we're right down in the bottom of the gully where it gets shaded and cooler and wet. And see that tree there? We just follow that up. See those horizontal branches? So just in there, that's where the sooty owl is. I'm here standing at the top of the gully now. And so you can see how it goes down there. And it goes all the way along. Getting a bit wetter and darker as it goes. And it was down in there where the sooty owl chose to roost. And funnily enough, I've actually got a powerful owl sitting right behind me. Before I zoom in on it, see if anyone can see it. I'll point to it. Right there. And that is the powerful owl right there. Just on the top of that rock right there, that's where I was standing when I saw the sooty owl. And I just look through and at the top of this tree here, see that perfect spot right there? Strong branch for it to roost on. Heavily shaded and protected and nice and secretive. Perfect for a sooty owl. And below it, there's heaps of pellets and whitewash. So pellets are things that owls regurgitate that contain some of their food such as bones and stuff like that because they can't digest that stuff. I've already collected some of them. I'll give you a closer look at those. They're a bit darker and smaller than what you'd typically get from a powerful owl. So it's good to get your eye in for that stuff. Unfortunately, it's not there anymore, but it still gives you an idea of some of the spots you should look out for if you're looking for sooty owls.